Bonhomme DM. Welcome to Roman art. It was the era from 476 AD to 14th century. I am Janice D. Pepe and I am the reporter of this topic. So here's the preview about the Roman art. The Romans become the ears to Greek art, but made important contributions of their own. The ancient Rome had a large influence on the modern world, though it has been thousands of years since the Roman Empire flourished. We can still see evidence of it in our art, architecture, technology, literature, language, and law. From bridges and stadiums to books and the words you hear every day, the ancient Romans have left their mark on our world. Here's the samples of architectural design in Roman. First, the Roman Colosseum. So the Roman Colosseum, it is the Flavian Amphitheater, better known as the Colosseum, stands as one of the most spectacular architectural monuments of the ancient world. The arches of the Colosseum are made out of cement, a remarkably strong building material the Romans made with what they had at hand, the volcanic ash and the volcanic rock. Modern scientists believe that the use of this ash is the reason that structures like the Colosseum still, uh, still stand today. Second sample of the architectural design in Roman art is the Pantheon. Okay. So the Pantheon it is the eighth wonder of the ancient world. The Pantheon in Rome is a true architectural wonder. The purpose of this building is not known for certain but the name, porch, and pediment decoration suggest a temple of some sort. However, not called is known to all of the gods and so the Pantheon may have been designed as a place where the emperor could make public appearances in a setting which reminded onlookers of his divine status equal with the other gods of the Roman Pantheon and his defied emperor predecessors. Another sample is the Pont du Gard. The Pont du Gard is an ancient Roman aqueduct bridge built in the 1st century AD to carry water over 50 kilometers to the Roman colony of Nemausus. The Pont du Gard from the French words meaning the bridge of the guard. It is a giant bridge aqueduct and a notable ancient Roman engineering work constructed about 19 BCE to carry water to the city of Nimes over the Gard River in southern France. And another example is the Mycen Curry. The Mycen Curry is the ancient Roman temple in Nimes, southern France. It is one of the best preserved Roman temples to survive in the territory of the former Roman Empire. The Mycenae Curry or on the square house, it is an extremely well-preserved ancient Roman building and represents an early textbook example of a Roman temple as described by the architectural writer Vitruvius. And the last sample of architectural design in Roman is the Diocletian's Palace. Diocletian's Palace is an ancient palace built for the Roman Emperor Diocletian at the turn of the 4th century AD, which today forms about half of the old town of Split, Croatia. It is the most famous cultural and tourist attraction of Split, Croatia. Although called a palace, it is more like a big fortress surrounded by walls and towers. It was built in the 4th century by Roman Emperor Diocletian, who wanted to build a fortress to spend his retirement age. No wonder he chose the beautiful city of Split. Artworks of the Roman art. First is the bust of Lucius Verus. The bust of Lucius Verus, it is the portrait of heroic Zeiss representing the prince in middle life. So the smoothness of his face, the contrast with the swirls of the hair, rendered with a drill, giving a suggestive chiaroscuro effect to the work. The sculpture shows an increased volume of the hair, which indicates a desire of the emperor to be portrayed with splendor. 
second sample of the artwork is the art of death the representations of death in the form of monuments and statuary are the best known artifacts of roman imperial customs surrounding death the funerary imagery permeated roman culture and riddled the visual landscape representations of death in the form of monuments and statuary are the best known artifacts of roman imperial customs surrounding death but this uh, but this static glyphs complemented a lively practice of parades and processions in honor of the deceased and his or her family. And another sample is the statues of Juskori. The statues of Juskori is the ancient statues that welcome visitors as they walk up the Capitoline Hill. The statue was excavated amongst the ruins in the ancient Roman theater of Pompeii in the 16th. There's the motif or the characteristics of Roman art. First is that it combines the features of ancient Roman and the Byzantine buildings and the other local tradition. Second, it is known by its massive quality, thick walls, round arches, sturdy pillars, burials, vaults, large towers, and decorative arcading. So the historical background of the Roman Empire so the Romans first adopted the Ark from the Etruscans and implemented it in their own building. The use of arches that spring directly from the tops of columns was a Roman development seen from the 1st century AD that was very widely adopted in medieval Western, Byzantine, and Islamic architecture. Then the philosophical perspective or the purpose of Roman art so it places heavy emphasis on the theological view with the possible exemptions of Avicenna and Averroes. However, medieval thinkers did not consider themselves philosophers at all. For them, the philosophers, uh, the philosophers were the ancient pagan writers such as Plato and Aristotle. Then, the famous person or the founder of Roman era, the famous person of that era was Julius Caesar. It was arguably the most well-known of the ancient Romans, the prodigious Roman emperor and self-appointed dictator. The founder of Roman era was born Gaius Octavius, or also known as Augustus. He was known as the founder of the Roman Empire. He reigned from 27 BC until his death in 14 AD. The Senate changed his name to Augustus in honor of his great achievements okay so gracias tv